That's a particularly sleazy looking merchant. I wonder what he's selling. In a world without the screen, that's what passes for entertainment. And it's pretty darn good. My intuition tells me... Maps! ...that he sells maps. Maps! I got maps! Can I interest you in a map, miss? Top-notch, hand-drawn in quality ink by skilled sunriders. Ain't no better in all the Northlands. How much are your maps? Uh, that depends, miss. I got a very nice one here of the Border Mountains for only six Harrens, fresh from the quill of a sunrider. Maps, get your maps here! Do you sell maps of the city? Can't help you there, miss. The Guild of Tourism has monopoly on city maps. I can tell you're not from around here, or you know that. Got tons of maps of all the Northlands, though, from the city of Tyron to the Bay of Fire. Maps! Where can I find the Guild of Tourism? They're closed for the holidays. Sure, that makes sense. I'm looking for Brian Westhouse. Briar West of House? It's not on any of my maps, and I've never heard of it. Maps! It's a man, not a place, Mr. Brian Westhouse. I would most certainly remember a name as queer as that, and I don't. Get your maps while they're fresh. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, maps! Do you know Vestrum Tobias? Everyone knows Vestrum Tobias, girl. He's been an important part of this city for as long as I can remember. What can you tell me about him? The Vestrum is an honorable man, but a conservative one. And I don't know if he still has the best interests of the people at heart. Sometimes I think he worries too much about custom. The Sentinel have been our so-called protectors and keepers of the balance for so long we don't even think of it anymore. But now that the Vanguard are introducing a new way of thinking, new philosophies, I'm afraid the Sentinel will find their power diminish before too long. Their resistance to change will be their downfall. Mark my words, their downfall for certain. And Tobias, honorable man that he is, will be remembered as the captain who went down with his ship. How do you get along with your neighbors? The Cup's handler? Stay away from him, miss. He takes great joy in robbing people's purses. You can't beat him, not without magic. And he doesn't allow magic at his table. How would he know if I did use magic? Oh, he's got one of those blasted talismans. They're always digging up magical artifacts in Chicagriel, and they sell them to dogs like him for a silver coin or two. Get a proper job, you son of a mole! What do you know about Stark? Land of wonders, strange customs, and machinery. Ah, to be a Stark. I'd give my right leg, well, perhaps not my right leg as such, you really need two sturdy legs to stand on in this business, or you'll find yourself... Um, uh, yes, uh, a grand place indeed, free of this blasted, chaotic, unpredictable magic, does no good to anyone. Now, machines built by man, controlled by man, in servitude of man, that's the future, isn't it? Yes, the Vanguard may be a little unorthodox in their methods and teachings, but they're right about one thing. Stark and Arcadia belong together, not apart. What's Arcadia like? What can I say about a whole world, girl? It's a beautiful place, for sure, but we're stuck in the past. We don't look ahead, not like our cousins in Stark. Magic is all well and good, but it won't bring our world into the modern age, and Arcadia is untamed. It's wild and unpredictable. Good for the map business, sure, but not so good for productivity and expansion. 
No, some people may consider our world a paradise. The Sentinel, for one, they prefer to keep it just the way it is. Me, I'd like to see some changes, and fast. Thanks for your help. Maps! No maps for me today, thanks. Fair enough, miss, but don't expect me to come running to your aid if you ever get lost in Riverwood. Without my maps, you'll probably end up a mole's dinner or worse. Maps! Want to test your skill and perception with a game of cups? There are prizes to be won! What can I win? Well, there's coin, of course. Double your bet or choose from a wide variety of exotic prizes. Like this antique Domari canter from Guienne. A superb replica of Mount Tyrone, cast in pure solid iron. A magic walnut from the once glorious island kingdom of Anciel. And this, um, unique bird. Get me out of here! Keep your beak shut, you scraggly piece of... <clears throat> and he talks! Great for feasts and for the amusement of infants. He's our top prize, a real keeper. How do I play? You put your coin down on the table. I put a cup on top of it and shuffled it around with the other two cups. And all you have to do is guess which one hides your coin. And remember, no magic used and none allowed. This amulet right here will light up if you use magic. Then you'll be banned for life. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Time is money, so make it quick. What do you know about Vestrum Tobias? Vestrin Tobias, eh? The High Priest of the Sentinel himself. Did you know they call themselves the Fathers? That's a joke. When was the last time they did anything for us, the people? No. They are only interested in sticking with their outdated customs and keeping their secrets under lock. I'm getting more and more inclined to listen to these new people. The Vanguard. Their ideas appeal to me. They may be radical, but... We're past due for a change. Only thing I don't wholly approve of is their alliance with the Tyrant. Filthy, dangerous people. But the Vanguard seem to have them under control, so I'm not too worried. I wish they wouldn't allow them into the city, though. How do you get along with your neighbor? The maps merchant? We've faced each other for six years now, every single day, and he never speaks a word to me except to insult me. Nose high in the sky, calls me a charlatan, as if he's the guardian himself. You no know good oversized bag of wind? Do you know anything about Stark? Not much. I'm not too sure if I even believe in the place. I mean... You hear the stories and you read the books. Uh, well, I don't, but some do. A place where there's no magic, only science? Sounds like a bloody paradise, doesn't it? I mean, with my, um, <clears throat> skills, I could make a killing in a place like that. What's Arcadia like? What a queer question that is. What's the world like? It's big, for one, and too expensive. And they should ban Dalmari women from gambling because I swear, they have a second sight. Thanks. Now, how about a game of cups? Okay, let's go. Just place your bet, <clears throat> investment, on the table and the game will begin.
wonder if that's supposed to be anybody in particular, or just any old head. What the hell kind of animal is that? Stout guardians of the city. Wooden, but stout. And that blue fire is way cool. This guy's selling musical instruments. Most of these, I don't even recognize. But he's got a drum in there, and what looks like half a guitar, and a couple of... dried rabbit carcasses. Ugh. The walls look ancient. Mercuria must be at least as old as anything back in the real... Uh, in my world. Those guys must be part of the City Watch. They look a hell of a lot more intimidating than the Newport Cops, despite the lack of an exoskeleton. This lady's selling fresh fish. I've never seen fish like this before. But if it's wet and has fins, fish it is. This guy's selling lobsters, crabs, eels, and... What the hell is that purple thing? That is so not appetizing. Blue fire. It's either propane or magic. I'm guessing the latter. The size of these galleons is truly breathtaking, and there are dozens of dozens of them, not to mention a number of smaller vessels. Mercuria must be a very important and very busy port. It's a lighthouse, much like the ones we have at home, except this one, of course, burns a blue fire. small ship or boat. I don't know the difference. Is there a difference? Assorted cargo. Judging by his ungainly stance, I'd say he's a mariner pining for the sea. There, matey. Pardon? Isn't that how you sailors greet each other? No. W what do you say then? Usually, hello. And if it's sunny, nice day for it. We might even try a how are you today then, if we're feeling adventurous. But never, ever, ahoy. This is valuable information. Aye, matey, that it be. Why aren't you out at sea? Do you see the sail on that barge over there? Yes. Is it flapping? What? Is it flapping? Is the sail flapping in the wind? Um... No. And why is that, then? Because... because it's not... windy? Exactly. Well, can't you just use oars or something? 
Oh, what an excellent idea. Now, why didn't we think of that? Of course, oars. By Jaws' stunted left arm, that's it. Why have we been moored to the dock for a month with our merchandise dropping in value when we could have just rowed our way to Guillen? Are you being sarcastic? Sarcastic? Me? What in Jaws' name makes you think that? How long's it been since the last wind? Near a month. Ever since that accursed alchemist put some kind of spell on the wind. The Mojal be cursed if I know why. But it's a bloody catastrophe. I've sent some good people of mine up north to deal with him. But not one has returned. Now the a Reed High Council speak of sending an entire army platoon to sort him out. But I'm afraid that just might piss him off. Who's this alchemist who cast a spell on the wind? I believe his name is Clax. Roper Clax. Lives in a bloody rock somewhere up north beyond Riverwood. Thanks for the chat. Aye. It's a small ship. I wouldn't feel too comfortable about sailing anywhere in that. It's like a toy boat for children. The old man and the, uh, ocean? Looks like a lifetime at sea has left its tracks on him. And it be looking like a lifetime of shooting your mouth off be taking its toll on you. Hello, old man. I got me no treasure, and I got me no map of no buried treasure. I just be an old sailor with no ship, so leave us be. What are you doing? Mending nets, of course. What it look like I be doing? I'm not well versed in maritime customs. Mar what? Ah, yes, mean sea life, dear not. Ah, the smell of the salty sea, the lapping of waves on your ship, the spray of cold water on your face, plump maidens in every part. I, I tell yous, I be having stories about the sea. Care to share some of your maritime stories with me? Mar what? Ah, tales of the sea, right? Sure, sweetie, I be happy to. Now what stories be I wanted to hear then? Any tale of your exciting adventures will do. I, I be having plenty of tales to tell. There be the tale of me adventures in the Bakshivan Empire, if you'd be interested. It'll be a tale of grand romance, just up your alley, be sure of it. Sure, that sounds like a fine story. Aye, it be near on fifty years ago that I was a mate on a sturdy old lady called the Three-Legged Whore. The what? What do I be saying? She was called the Thrifty Horse, she was. Aye, that be her name. The Whistle What's It. Ah, uh, you don't remember the ship's name, do you? Ah, uh, anyways, I be a young mate then, and we be anchored in Mount Herba, a grand western port of the once glorious Bakshivan Empire. I be having ship leave until the following evening, and it be me first visit to that exotic and dangerous port. So I sets out to have a look around. Now, bear in mind that Mount Herba be ruled by a mock. 
like all large Bakshivan cities. In principle, the mock be having to report to and pay half of all taxes to the Emperor in Port Altaban. But with the Bakshivan Empire having all but crumbled into pieces, the provinces do be having the power to do pretty much as they be wanting. Err, and so I sets out on me own that day to explore the city. Now, bear in mind that all the cities of the Southlands. And that be me adventures in the once glorious empire of Bakshiva. And that be how I meet me bird bird. How I see Dus and the romance the mock's daughter. How I be chased from Mount Herbe by the mock's soldiers. And how I be the first man to walk across the desert of Shangagriel, the wastelands. And how I be getting this awful rash on. Ah, girl, you do not be sleeping, do you? What? 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 Sleeping? N no, 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 just concentrating really hard. Err. Good story, though. Solid, solid material. Ever considered doing a book? Aye, but the agents in Marcuria be bloodthirsty vampires with no thought but to milk your life's blood. Oh. So they take an outrageous commission, then? No. They actually be bloodthirsty vampires with a penchant for biting your neck when you ain't be looking. Huh. What have you got in that chest? What chest? The one you're sitting on. Oh, that be no chest, girl. That be me stool. I me stool, carved into the uncanny likeness of a chest. But what's in it? No priceless treasure, that be for sure. Nothing, nothing at all. It be empty. No, really. What's in the chest? Oh, live snakes! Aye, snakes that'll bite your face off before you have time to jump. Better leave them be, then. I'm still curious about that chest. Right, right. I be telling you, curse the balance, girl. You never give up, do you? I be having no real treasure in here, like I told ye. It be where I keep me personal articles, and things I be picking up now and then on me travels. And me bird, it's where I be keeping me bird before I be losing him. I be a stupid, stupid old man. He be my best friend. I ain't nobody else around to talk to, you see, on account of him being a talking bird. What happened to your talking bird? I be... he cheated out of him. I... That cups handler on the marketplace be cheating me in a full game of cups, and I be having to give me bird up to try to win me money back. And what happened? He be taking me bird when I be choosing the wrong cup. I my best friend taken from me. Cursed to be the balance. I be all lonesome now. The worst part is that me bird is now a prize to be won. A prize in the cups game. Eat the handler thrice and you win a prize of your choice, me poor bird. What's your bird's name? Bird. Oh. I'd better get going. Ah, you young'uns all be always running around. Everything be so important. He's be having no time to sit down and take a breath. So go. Be not wasting your time here with me.